you just want bangs and there's nothing wrong with that. Too short. Look at that. <laughs> there's bangs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today we're cutting bangs. Cutting bangs. And I'm gonna show you how to cut your own bangs at home, whether you're just bored of the length of your hair, but you don't wanna lose a lot of length with an absolute crazy haircut, or you just want something different. I'm gonna show you how to cut your bangs and style them so you can actually enjoy bangs. This, you know, it's like bangs are not always a bad decision. Bangs are not always an emotional decision. Sometimes you just want bangs and there's nothing wrong with that. So the reason why I'm cutting bangs today though, personally, is if you could see this, I have no layers in my hair, but recently I did two rounds of K18 hair treatments that I was like, everybody likes it. And I did it and my hair started breaking off and I haven't had hair breakage in years. I take a lot of good care of my hair and all of that good stuff. So if I don't do something now and my hairstylist is booked out until October, it's just gonna keep breaking off and creating very like split end looking layers. So that's why we're doing it today. And plus I just love a good volumized curtain bang. It's not necessarily a curtain bang. They're not gonna be as heavy. So let's get into it. So the very, very important thing is to section your hair. Also cut your bangs dry. Do not wet your bangs and then cut them. They will always end up too short. <laughs> so cu by cutting them dry, you can see exactly how much you're losing in length. Do you see this? This is a layer. Oh, I'm so glad we're doing this today. I almost didn't do it, but I'm ready. So today we're gonna be cutting a length that is long enough to get out of your face and grow them out quickly if you hate them. So not too short, but not too long to just be a random layer. So we are going to section our hair and I don't want these bangs to be too far back because the further back you go, okay, this is not your average wham, bam, there's your bangs video, okay? I'm gonna tell you some stuff so you don't ruin your hair. So listen up, okay? I'm here for you, not to just make content. So the further back you go, the thinner the rest of your hair is gonna look. So I'm gonna keep my hair and my bangs not going back too far. So I want enough bang, right, to look like a bang, but I don't want to go back too far and lose a lot of volume towards the back of my head. And as you can see, I have breakage here. So I'm going to be having these bangs graduate a little bit. And I'm stopping sectioning right at my temple. As you can see, there's already breakage. I don't know, have any of you experienced hair breakage with K18? I would love to know. So that's as far as back as I wanna go with these bangs. I actually, that's a lot, but we are gonna graduate it. So you can feel how thick your bangs are gonna be, all right? So these are gonna be pretty thick. I might not go back that far. Just gonna take out because we can always cut more. Once you cut, you can't cut less. So I'm just sectioning the top. I'm gonna put back probably like an eighth of the amount of hair that I had in the bangs. And I think that is good. So I would say from my hairline to where the bangs, how full they're gonna be is about an inch, inch and a half. And I'm just gonna kind of bring in some of these pieces around my face so I can make sure that I graduate these well. Also, hey, maybe you wanna cut bangs because you don't tr trust a hairstylist. There's nothing wrong with that. So I would say I have, uh, look at that. <laughs> There's bangs. I would say that I have definitely gathered all of the length that's starting to break off around my face. So I have, I purchased these from Sally's. These are the Cricut Rose Gold Scissors. I would say these are the best affordable scissors that are professional, sharp enough to not ruin your hair. They're about $40 at Sally's and if you have a, like I'm talking to you like that. If you have a Sally's membership, you get, I believe it's 10 or 15% off. So you get a discount. All right, so we are, here we go. I'm gonna start by cutting straight across right in the, in the middle of, actually right at the tip of my nose here because I want a graduation and we can always cut more. We need a thumbnail, I didn't even think about that. That's a good thumbnail. Okay, right at the tip of my nose is where I wanna cut. So here we go, oh my God. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because I want to, I obviously want to. Here we go, and I'm thinking about the graduation. So actually I'm gonna go right at the end of my nose. Okay, there's no going back. And I will give you this tip, don't chop in. Use 
the pressure at the back of the scissors to cut. Do not use the tips to just start cutting. You're gonna saw your hair. Okay, here we go. And you might end up seeing my mirror, but I really need it close. So, so I'm using the weight of the back of the scissors. <laughs> what is this video turning into? Okay, cutting dry, let's go. All right. So now we have the bangs. And what if I was like, I'm done? <laughs> We're not. Okay, so now what you want to do is start, cause I'm gonna wear mine at my center part. So I'm gonna take my scissors. I've seen people cut up, cut down, just so you know where you're going with it all. All right, and then use the weight of the scissors here. And I'm gonna start cutting right at the outer corner of my eye and just gradually cut here. All right, I'm using the weight of the scissors here, cutting downward. And actually, I am gonna go up on this side. So let me eat my words on the going up. Some angles are difficult to get. And then I'm just gonna start shaping the length itself. And now, I'm gonna get this part out of the way. Take the center of the bangs here. I'm gonna grab some clips to section. And now I'm gonna go ahead and chip into the bangs because we don't want harsh edges. We are not going for a straight across bang. So just taking this and I'm gonna make it the thinnest, texturize it the thinnest in the center. And you can really see what you're doing here. Angle, angle, angle. Leaving it the longest at the outer part of the hair. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with these sections. Texturize, making it longer on the outer part of the hair. So we're gonna go from the inside out and just pull your scissors downward when you get towards the outer edge. Same thing, just texturizing and chipping away at the weight of the end of the hair. You can start to see it come together. Now I'm just grabbing all of the hair and comb it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and texturize this way, just thinning out the bangs, keeping it longest on the outer part. Looks crazy right now, but we're about to wet and style and then go in and cut more. Because I'm going for that like volumized, you know, and then kind of fade it into the sides of my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead, just kind of fluff it up with my fingers and cut along my face now that it's texturized. Now that we've established the length we want, we can go in and really shape things up. This is making me want like a proper page boy haircut. Tell me no. Y'all should tell me no. Tell me no right now in the comments. Do not get a page boy. You're already cutting crazy bangs, girl. And you can see if there's an area that has more weight to it to just go in and texturize it and get yourself some texturizing shears if you want. All right, now I'm going to wet my bangs and we are going to style them and then cut them even more. All right, now that we are at the stage, let's go ahead and wet our bangs and get them wet enough so they can go ahead and form a new style. They don't need to be sopping wet, but if they're not wet enough, they're just gonna end up looking, laying how you had them before you wet them. And you won't be able to see like a true finished product. All right, this is what we're looking at now that we went ahead and used, ooh, we got tons of stuff stuck to our lips. This is what we're looking at after using a round brush. I think that they're super duper cute. I do want to go a little, just a little bit shorter in the middle, just because I don't want full curtain bangs. I am wanting kind of like a voluminous situation, but I'm loving how 70s they look. So I'm just gonna go ahead, look straight into the mirror and cut length just like this. Now that they're styled, as you can see, you you know, it's always best to start out longer because once they're cut, they're cut. I'm gonna hold it here, texturize it to shorten it. I'm no longer doing like straight passes with the scissors because I don't want just chopped lengths. 
Again, when you pull your sections out, just make sure you are cutting in to the very center the most and losing length there first, and then you can graduate to the outer edges of the bang. Oh my God, I feel like, honestly, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm elevating my haircut a lot right now. <laughs> and for those of you who know, I had a terrible haircut this year. It was just absolutely tragic. She cut my neck and everything. So I'm just kind of growing out this really bad bob and to have a different look and style to like go with it is really nice. Ooh, I mean, okay. I still feel like I need to lose more length in the center. So slowly but surely you'll get to the length you want. Do not rush it. You will regret it. And then you'll have to go in and do the walk of shame into a salon. And that's what I'm here for to prevent that from happening. Maybe just a little bit more length, just right in this very center. I mean, she's looking cute. All right. I'm thinking that we are done here. I do want to check the weight. If you see any like big chunks, you might want to go in, texturize it a little bit. But for now, I am absolutely, I'm down. It looks like a haircut. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my flat iron and then show you how to style these really quickly. All right, I have my flat iron heated up. I am using a GHD Platinum Plus. You can use whatever flat iron you own. I'm gonna take the center here cause we're going for that like kind of nineties layered bang, but also with a lot of volume. So I'm gonna curl these under, go up at the top here. And now I'm just gonna take this and take these away from my face. And again, away and curling under. Oh my God. These are very cute bangs. <laughs> Girl, I am loving them already. And I feel like, oh, we could even go shorter in the center, but I am not gonna do that. I can save that for another video if I decide to go with that type of style. But for now, this like volumized curtain bang is giving me a lot of life. I'm just gonna take the ends of my hair and curl them under a little bit more, just like that. Oh my God. I'm living, laughing, and loving right now. Okay, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you're gonna try this at home. It's really simple. Just make sure you take your time, go at an angle, start with dry hair and go from there and then wet style and then continue to cut more. I'm very happy this was definitely the goal bang and you know, if it goes wrong, I don't have anybody to blame but myself. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you try it at home. Honestly, bangs are fun. It's a really great way to change up your look without losing a lot of length. And if you are someone who experiences, a, like, I don't know what the heck that K18 did, but girl, I got breakage. Now we just look a little more layered, you know? And once my hair gets longer, I would love to go back to 90s layers. I had that haircut as a kid forever, so I would love to have that again. I'm loving the bangs. I feel like this is a good starting place. If I get the itch to go shorter, you bet I will film a video for you. Let me know if this was helpful. I will leave my hair styling playlist below. I have videos on how to trim your existing bangs at home. Just make sure you have clean, sharp scissors, okay? Even like the goodie silver scissors, like for the first few cuts, they're pretty good. I highly recommend the Cricut rose gold ones from Sally's. I feel like they give you a really nice professional finish. <sighs> we did it. And the best part is we don't regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Oh, and I got lipstick on our teeth. Can't just get through it one video. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy hair tutorials. It lets me know that you enjoy them. So I'll create more of them for you and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you in this beautiful, positive, wonderful, and now bangful community. All right, goodbye, you guys. Too short. All right.